Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Tourist Trophy. Today is episode number eight. If you guys do want to stay up to date with the rest of the Tourist Trophy series, then make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And make sure to check out the links in the description for our socials. We've got Instagram, Discord, and Twitter. But hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing the Kawasaki bikes next. These are another Japanese brand and they are absolutely amazing. Uh, so first off, we're going to use the Kawasaki D-Tracker from 2005. Uh, that looks actually pretty cool. It's sort of like a um, motocross bike, almost. Um, oh, I do like it in black. We'll pick the black one. Autumn Ring Mini, again, tiny track, as always. Here we go, Kawasaki. Time to start on these bikes. Oh, that was a very rubbish corner there. Really wide. Let's see if we can catch back up at least. I did sort of have like a really weird scare this morning. Um, my PS2 was refusing to load the game. But uh, I just uh, like turned it off, turned the power off. And it all seemed to be okay. But uh, I really do hope that <laughs> it's not messed anything up. So far, it doesn't look like it has. Here we go, though. McCanny's got his first Kawasaki bike. There we go. Very nice. 42 seconds for that. I'll take it. Chat's dead right now. Literally dead. Completely dead. Couldn't be more dead if it tried. <laughs> uh, uh, that's the sound of a man that's just died inside. Here we go, though. Kawasaki D Tracker 05. Ta da! Look at that. That's a good bike. Very nice. Okay. So that is the Kawasaki. What is the, or the D-Tracker? Next up is the GPZ400R from 1985. Oh, I do like that with the blue. I'll take this one. And this is around the Clubman Stage Route 5, so I'm going to enjoy this. Right, here we go. Next Kawasaki bike. Oh, this corner's always a little bit sketchy on bikes because there's like the uh, massive downhill gradient. So it can be a little bit sketchy, but it's okay. Let's try and slow down for that corner. We are two seconds behind the other bike. Can we catch up? Hopefully we can. Nice, nice. Perfect. Awesome. Here we go, here we go, here we go. We've got it, we've got it so far. Hey! One minute, one second, point five seven two, and that was a retry button. I didn't want to press that. There we go. But yeah, that was very good. That was a very good stage. Hey! Kawasaki GPZ 400R. 85, 1985. Very nice. That's a good bike. We've got some upgrades as well, which is very good. Which one is the next one then? So we've done two bikes so far today. Uh, next up is the GPZ900R, which was before this one. That makes no sense, but okay. Uh, oh, I like the blue. I think I'll take the blue around the high speed ring. Let's go. Right, here we go. Onto the high speed ring now with the Kawasaki. It's very good so far. Nice. The bike looks really wobbly from here though. A wee banana, one banana, no fall down. McCanny is coming through. 
Come on, come on, come on. Let's do this. Get this done and dusted. That was close. That was so close to going into that wall there. That would have been horrendous. But there we go. One minute and four seconds. 0.770. That was a good time. Let's go and have a look and see what next... What? Bleh, I can't speak. What bike is next? I'm looking forward to the uh, Kawasaki Superbikes. Because I think Kawasaki... Is it Kawasaki or Yamaha? I think it's Kawasaki that does the ninja. I may be wrong. Hmm. I'll have a look. I'm pretty sure it is this one that does the ninja. Yeah. Kawasaki ninja. Oh, I'm looking forward to driving that one. That looks insane. Right. Next up is the uh, Z1000R1. We got it in lime green again as well. All right, back at the high-speed ring again with the Kawasaki, another one. I don't know why I keep saying with the Kawasaki because it's not going to be any other bike for now. It's all Kawasaki's. Awesome. Look how wobbly that is as you go through that section. The handlebars are just moving like crazy. That is unnatural. Awesome. Nice. We're in the lead. We're going to get this much quicker than the last one. Look at that. 52 seconds dead. That is awesome. Brilliant. I'll take that. That was some good speed, bitch. Nice. Here we go. Kawasaki Z1000 R1 from 1982. It's a very old looking bike. But quite a quick one by the looks of it as well. Fairly decent. Right. Next bike is the Kawasaki Ninja. We're starting with the Ninja series. There's four ninjas in this, actually. So, uh, very good. Uh, this is the ZX6R. And, obviously, lime green. Around Grand Valley East section for two laps. Let's go. Right, here we go. Oh, this thing's quick. This is very quick compared to the last bikes. Awesome. The uh, bike didn't want to shift down into first, which is uh, an interesting choice. Very interesting. We're actually going to nearly overtake them immediately. Whoa. Come on, hold on to the lead. Nice. Ta-da. And we win. And my rider is nearly <laughs> falling off the bike. Unbelievable. And there we go. The Kawasaki Ninja ZX. 6R is ours. Awesome. Very good. I like it. I like it a lot. What is next? Next bike is the Kawasaki GPZ400R Racing Modifier. I think most of these are... Oh, no, they're not. Oh, never mind. Well, anyways, let's go for this one. Green and blue. Very nice. On the Suzuka East course. Right, here we go. The other bike's actually quite far ahead for us this time. So, uh, fairly interesting. Awesome. Come on. No. Ah, oh, we fell over. <laughs> Unbelievable. Rubbish first corner there. We'll try that again. Very nice. A little bit further away from the uh, edge of the corner that time. Nearly went off the track there. Q. 
Keep it going steady through here. Nice. Perfect. Right, coming back round here, back onto the main straight. Oh, that was a good corner. Very good. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We can catch him by the end of the lap. McKenny is going to do it. That is going to become a tourist trophy meme for this channel. Just calling ourselves McKenny. Very nice. Okay, we got the lead. Is the other bike going to stay behind? Yes, they are. And we're going to get ourselves a 1 minute 32.245 for that. And a lovely trophy. Awesome. I like that. That was a very good run. Very good run. And here we go. The Kawasaki GPZ400R. And, of course, the mandatory... Number 69, we need to put on the bike. There's no other number you can put on this bike other than the number 69. Plus, I don't actually have like a racing number that I always pick. I just pick 69 because it's funny. <laughs> right, next up is the Zephyr 1100. The 1100 from 2005. Wait, what is that purple color? Ooh, that is nice. I'll take that. Midfield Raceway, let's go. Right, here we go, Midfield Raceway. This is one of the um, tracks that have stuck with Gran Turismo, but sort of disappeared after GT4. Like, between Gran Turismo, you would expect between Gran Turismo 4 and Gran Turismo 5, the amount of time it took them that they would have had more stuff in it. But Gran Turismo 5 was a massive disappointment, right? All the cars that they had were all just, like, maps from GT4 anyways. And then the tracks that they had, they didn't actually have any new tracks, really. In theory, they had Egan Norwand, which was a big one. But, like, the new tracks weren't much. And they got rid of a lot of the old tracks that people wanted. Such a shame that all these tracks disappeared. Gran Turismo 6, if they had all of the classic tracks as well as what they added, oh, very close, would have been an amazing game. Would have been perfect. I'm not even joking. Gran Turismo 6 would have been the best racing game ever. Whoa, that was close. I can't tell if I've caught up or if I've lost time, to be honest. Because I think I've lost a lot of time. We're at minus five now. Awesome. We caught up that in that section quite a lot. Nice. Minus four. We are catching up but very slowly. Oh. Yeah, don't want to go on the grass just yet. Keep it behind this bike. Keep it behind him. Woo. Close. Go, 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 go. Nice. Awesome, awesome. Let's get him on the inside. Perfect. Six seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And we're done. Very nice. 252.570 for that. It was quite a long one, actually. I wasn't expecting it to take that long. 
definitely wasn't expecting it to take that long. Right, here we go. Kawasaki Zephyr 1100. Very nice. This one isn't a racing modifier, so we don't have, like, stickers to put on it. So we can't put the number 69 on this one, unfortunately. Uh, but next up, uh, we've done seven bikes so far. Next up is the ZRX 1200R. Let's go. I feel like taking this in blue. So we'll go around the Laguna Seca Raceway for this one. Right, here we go. Mazda Laguna Raceway Seca. Laguna Seca Raceway. Oh, well. Call it whatever. I don't even think it's called the Mazda Raceway anymore. I think it's called WeatherTech. Pretty sure. Oh, well. Whatever. Here we go. Very nice. Oh, I like... I like how this uh, bike flows into the corners much better than the last one. I don't like that we're 10 seconds behind though. That I do not like. Let's see if we can get some time, hopefully. Oh, that was a dreadful corner. We lost so much time in there. Oh, never mind. We gained three seconds. There we go, we crouch down. Right, I'm slowing down now. Perfect time to slow down. Oh my gosh, that's the best I've taken the corkscrew yet. That was the best corner around the corkscrew. I'm not even joking. That is the best yet. And this was the worst yet. Why do I always overshoot that final corner? Unbelievable. Right, here we go. Attempt number two. Hopefully we don't crash this time. I managed to uh, fall off the bike at the final corner. Which for some reason this game doesn't... It's very like... Oh yeah, break now and you'll go straight off the track. Awesome. That corner is a lot tighter than you would expect it to be, actually. You definitely have to take it slower than you think. If you think you can take it at 80, you should probably take it at 70. That's like the kind of mentality you should go with that game. With that corner, sorry. Because it's definitely... It's possible to take it quick. Just wouldn't recommend it, because you might mess up big time. Eight seconds behind, okay, fair enough. We've got quite a bit of catching up to do, but we have got three laps of sort of like allowance to do it in. Wow. Right, here we go, attempt number three. These bikes are so difficult around the Laguna Seca. This track wasn't designed for bikes in mind at all, no matter what. And I don't, I've never seen bikes go around this track, to be honest, to be perfectly honest. I probably will end up researching that now. Probably see if uh, bikes have driven around Laguna Seca in like Superbike. Because if they have, I want to see how they go down that corkscrew. Because that thing is deadly. Oh, that was a good corner. Cunt. Number four. Attempt number four. Come on, we can do this. It shouldn't be too hard. Why is it so hard though? I mean, the Laguna Seca is like one of the most difficult tracks even for cars. But imagine getting a two-wheeled vehicle, also known as a motorbike, round this thing. It would be hell. Literal hell.
Go, go, go. Nice. Awesome. Oh, careful. Here we go. It's corkscrews coming up. I'm going to go very slow around here. There we go. Nice. We made it. We survived. We didn't pass it. We survived it. It's not a matter of skill. It's a matter of survival. Gotta be fucking kidding me. Right, here we go. Attempt number six. The Mazda Laguna Seca Raceway. One of the most absolute nightmare tracks I've been having so far. Every single time I've driven this, right? I love this track. It's amazing with cars. But every time I've driven this with a bike, I've fallen off either at the corkscrew. Which is like hell. To try and stay balanced. Or at the final corner, because it is so much tighter than you expect. And with a car, you can sort of compensate for that by going on your brakes harder than you should when slowing down. This, you can't do that, because you're already on max braking force, and you can't go any faster. Otherwise, you will, like, flip over your bike. Quite simple, really. Right, nine seconds behind. That is... Ridiculous. Nearly went off the track there as well. Nice, nice. No, oh, you saw that there. That is not how bikes are supposed to take corners. Seven seconds behind though. That gained us two seconds because of that. Would not recommend taking corners like that. Oh, yes. We finally got around that first corner. There we go. That was one complete lap. First time we've done a complete lap. And across the line, five seconds behind. It's fairly decent. Oh, that was close. I was worried we were overshooting that corner then. We're going to be about level playing field by the corkscrew, I think. So, need to somehow gain that time pretty quick. There we go, nice. Might actually catch him before the corkscrew, but we will be at the corkscrew by the time the countdown timer is on. Yeah, no, I didn't want to try and overtake on that corner because it is very sketchy to do that. Nice. I'm surprised that the AI bikes can actually get around the corkscrew, no problem. And there we go. Just let the bike go off the track. Three minutes and four seconds. That was very good. Very, very good. I think i got to save this replay now as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button or hit that merch link in the description. And don't forget to check out the description for our social links. We have Instagram, Discord and Twitter. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Like